I think that's the thing that's most compelling. It's not only for me, I'm a mother. And when I look at the book you've, you've written, I don't think of it as just being beneficial to the children that are reading it, but they don't come with, you know, instructions, right? So, so this book is instructional um, because it's you as an adult telling a story as a child and really telling adults what children need to understand and know and mm. um, or probably do right typical children um, and I think that's the thing that's so cool about this Sharice's big voice I mean you're thinking about you know the idea of, of the sense of agency um, the mm. idea that you're introducing realizing the power is in your choices I thought it was a fantastic when you, um, in the author's note, because that's the thing I'm looking at, the why, I'm, like you, I want to understand why did she write this book and who is it for? And then it was the gift of realizing, oh my goodness, there's so much stuff in here. And especially realizing that when you said that a lot of people would say to you, law school changed your life and you correct them and say, no, my life changed when I chose law school. And so the, the reality is that idea, planting that seed for little people, that the gift is in the choice, that the, the benefit is in the choice. And I, I just want to understand from you, why did you feel that was important to put into words that children could understand? Um, um, I think... So, you know, this idea, I, I often talk about the idea of, and I hope that people can can see it in the book too, that uh, we, we get to decide what success means for us, right? And like, I think we spend so much time hearing and, and not, sometimes it's in direct and overt ways. And sometimes it's just kind of the message that we glean from things. And tons of people, um, pro probably not you, cause you're around young people a lot, but with being a parent and all? This one, that, but yeah. Just the <laughs> that one, yeah. Young She's about 52, but, right? <laughs> but you know that they they hear and see everything. Yes. And I think that sometimes it can be easy for our society to uh, forget that. And that's part of what I was thinking about was that like, often we don't give young people enough credit for how, for what they're picking up from us. Right. And some of what they pick up from us is, um, if, if you like, you're supposed to want to do X, you're supposed to want to be rich. You're supposed to want to do Y. Um, you know, if you don't get a PhD, you're not a successful person, something like that. Right. Like, like young people get fed that kind of stuff all the time. And it's part of, you know, I often say like, this is, this is not a, this is not a book about how to become a congressperson. <laughs> it's, it's a book about what my experience was seeing that the journey I was on had tons of twists and turns and ups and downs. And, you know, um, I thought it was important to mention the, the, you know, there are people who are going to doubt you. Um, also, sometimes the biggest doubter is ourselves. Like, can I do this? Should I do this? And um, and that's normal. It's totally normal <laughs> for all of that stuff to happen. And, and we get to decide. Like, oh, okay, to me, success means. And it can be, um, you know... Go, being a musician, mm -hmm. uh, being a poet, being an artist, it can be, it can be going and getting a PhD, but one is not more important than the other. It just depends on what's important to you.